There's an expression in real estate that you have to have money to make money, which is absolutely true. But the part that is often left out is that it doesn't have to be your own money. If you want to get into real estate investing, but you don't have any cash to put down, then this is the video for you. I'm going to break down six ways you can finance a rental property with no money down. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate investing education time from months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. There are many benefits of purchasing rental properties with no money down. One of the biggest ones is the rate of return that you can achieve when you don't have any of your own money invested in a transaction. In this scenario, your rate of return becomes in infinite. I mean, come on, what's better than an infinite return? Nothing. I do want to be clear that in almost all of these scenarios, you'll need to be out of pocket some costs, but for the most part, they can be minimal and something that you can most likely recoup very quickly with a solid performing rental property. So let's dive in. Number six, using a home equity line of credit. If you currently own a home and have a secured line of credit on that property, you can use this line of credit to purchase a rental property. Depending on how much equity you have in your current property will dictate how much money you have available to you. Using the equity in your home to purchase another property is really using the bank's money and not yours. The challenge with this scenario is that you need to make sure that the new property you are purchasing covers its own costs and covers the cost of borrowing on your line of credit. Ideally, you also have cash flow left over after that. This is a common way that many investors finance rentals using their available credit. Number five, joint venture partnerships. A joint venture partnership is when two parties come together for the benefit of buying a rental property. There are many different ways to structure a joint venture partnership, but one of the more common ones is that one party is a working partner and the other one is the money partner. The working partner would be responsible for going out and finding the rental property putting the deal together, perhaps coordinating a renovation, dealing with the tenants, and taking care of any issues with the property on an ongoing basis. The money partner is responsible for bringing cash to the deal and sometimes qualifying for financing as well. So while the working partner doesn't necessarily need to bring any money, they will need to bring time and energy to the transaction. But for those of you willing to do this, it's a great way to finance a rental property with no money down. Number four, a lease option purchase. This is sometimes referred to as rent to own. A standard rent to own deal is when a buyer agrees to purchase a property in the future from a seller at an agreed upon price. In this scenario, it's common for the seller to rent the property to the future buyer. And in some cases, they may not ask for any money down. The seller might ask for a small deposit that is non-refundable if the future buyer does not follow through on the transaction. But if they do follow through and end up purchasing the property in the agreed upon time, then the deposit is usually applied to the purchase price. A lease option purchase allows you to build equity in a property with no money down. Number three, getting an RRSP mortgage. When most of us think about getting financing for a property, we usually think about going to the bank to get a loan but you don't need to use the bank's money. You can use someone else's RSP money. This is a strategy that's not commonly known, but I assure you it's completely legal. If you are arm's length from someone, meaning you're not related to them through blood or marriage, you can borrow their registered funds for a mortgage. And you can borrow up to 100% of the property's value, meaning that if a property is valued at $300,000, you can borrow $300,000 of someone's RSPs in a mortgage and pay them interest on that money. Money. This has to be done through a lawyer and there are some fees involved, but this is a phenomenal way to purchase a rental property with no money down. If you're unsure of how this strategy works, it's one of the things that I teach in my masterclass. Check out the details at darrenvoros.com or click on the link in the description below. Number two, get a private loan. A private loan is similar to an RSP mortgage in that you can borrow the full value of the property from someone. In fact, you can borrow over the value of the property in a private loan, but you cannot in an RSP loan. Now be prepared that if you're borrowing more money than the property is worth, you will be having to pay a much higher interest rate. But if this can be a short term scenario where you can add value to the property very quickly, refinance the property with a new loan and pay out your existing private loan and you can do this properly, this is a great way to finance rental properties with no money down. This strategy is not for the faint of heart and shouldn't be attempted unless you really know what you're doing. Borrowing money at 12 to 14% adds up very quickly and can get you in trouble if you don't know exactly what you're doing. 
And the number one way to finance a property with no money down is to get a vendor take back. This is sometimes referred to as seller financing. In this scenario, you would be looking to purchase a property from a seller who is willing to hold financing on this property for you. In some cases, they would hold 100% of the financing or in other scenarios, the bank might come in with some financing and the seller might be willing to hold the remainder of the loan. So why would a seller do this? There are many reasons. And if you want to learn more about seller financing, you can check out this video right here after you're done watching this video. But this is a scenario that often presents itself, especially in a buyer's market, which we might be headed for very soon. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever been able to finance a rental property with no money down? If you have, hit that like button or leave me a thumbs up in the comments section below. If you have questions for me about anything related to real estate investing, you can also leave those in the comments section as well. If you're not already doing so, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.